Hello, everyone. This is your host, Susan Rosen, and I have a guest on today who's going to tell us a little bit about some interesting therapy, cryotherapy, correct? Am I pronouncing that right? Okay. That is correct. Okay. And I am actually going to let Kyle Jones, who is our my guest, um, introduce himself because he has a very interesting background and and he knows a lot more about this than I do. So just so I don't um, put my foot in my mouth over this. <laughs> <laughs> understood, understood. Thank you, Susan. It's good to be on today. Uh, love speaking about uh, the industry, love speaking about how we can help people. Uh, I definitely have a holistic, natural background and mindset. And so it's, it's nice to be able to pour that into uh, other people. And really when it comes down to it, it's about the education, right? You, I always tell people you don't know what you don't know, right? So a lot of the times we make mistakes uh, because we just don't know the right thing to do. So um, for me, I, I grew up in um, Houston, Texas, uh, a Texan boy, Southern, Southern kid. And um, from there, I kind of grew a big passion for sports. Um, I, was, I was raised a multi-sport athlete since I was four years old, uh, playing multiple sports all the way through high school. Um, I ended up getting a full ride scholarship to play some Division II football in Oklahoma. Um, my dad said, uh, I don't care where it's at. The school's paid for, so you go. <laughs> All right. So um, I was uh, I went up to Oklahoma for a year. Um, my mentor at the time uh, had, had kind of told me at the end of the year, he said, hey, you know, I've, I understand that uh, every every college athlete thinks to go and pro, right? But it's, it's a very, it's like a 1% uh, of college athletes actually make it to the pros. Um, he actually said, Kyle, I, I've seen you grow. I've seen your uh, young adulthood uh, kind of flourish. And you're, you're definitely more of like a total wellness minded person. It's not just sports, right? And uh, so I took that, I analyzed that. I got offered a full ride scholarship my second year. I actually rejected it. Um, I came back home. I spent some time soul searching, if you want to say that. Um, I really tried to, to look into certain things within the wellness field that just attracted me. Um, during that time frame, I actually transferred to Texas State University. I acquired a double major there in uh, exercise science, kinesiology, and business management. Um, that entrepreneurial spirit, uh, spirit from my dad was, was always there, right? But uh, so I had the wellness aspect. I had the, the business management mindset. Um, so I knew I was uh, destined somewhere to open up some type of wellness business. Um, at that point in time, one of the most rewarding jobs, I remember reading an article back in 2010 or whenever it was, one of the most rewarding jobs uh, was being a physical therapist. And it was because you were the one person that took, you know, somebody from an injury or post-surgery or just pain management in general and got them to actually live life and not just exist in life, right? They were actually living their life and uh, living their best life. So um, for me, I took that, uh, the opportunity. I pursued my doctorate in physical therapy at Texas State University. Um, long story short, I was midway through PT school. And um, I found out about cryotherapy, this was back in 2012, and it completely consumed me. Uh, I became extremely passionate about cryo, um, learning that this, uh, that this modality had been used overseas since the 70s. Um, and it was not for athletes, it was not for recovery as far as muscle recovery from the gym or workouts, which is what most people here in the United States thinks it's used for. Um, it was Actually, the origination of the creation of whole body cryo was around treating rheumatoid arthritis and fibromyalgia. Um, so it was there to actually treat inflammation, which, as you know, everybody has inflammation, right? So it's, it's funny when somebody asks me, am I a candidate for cryo? I jokingly respond and I say, are you a living, breathing human being? <laughs> right? Exactly. Because, yes, everybody that walks the planet has inflammation. So we, uh, yeah. we see people young ages, older ages, um, you know, teenagers, senior citizens, big, small, tall, ethnicity, uh, doesn't matter. Um, cryo, you're a candidate. Most people, unless there's some type of a huge heart uh, issue, like heart surgery, uh, pregnant women, we don't put in the cryo chambers. But um, for, for, for a general statement, the masses can enjoy the benefits of cryo. Um, kind of fast forward, uh, 2015, I started iCryo, which uh, has become just a revolutionary brand here in the here in the United States and soon to be global. 
Um, wow. We expanded very fast. Uh, we've now got 15 locations open in a half dozen states. Uh, we've got another 30 to 40 under construction and development. We've got 240 plus locations awarded across the United States. So um, I, anybody who's listening, uh, we will probably be within a 20 to 30 minute drive of you very soon. So. Wow, that's pretty incredible. Do you have any of them in the Cal in California? Uh, we're actually launching our first six in California, the first part of next year. Um, we'll put a uh, half dozen of them between, I would say, Santa Monica, L.A. County, Irvine, um, uh -huh. Huntington Beach, uh, San Diego, kind of all of uh, the West Coast there. Um, so, yeah, it's it's been interesting because of, of my PT background. But also my competitive background, I was a powerlifting, uh, I, I, I did professional powerlifting for six years, I won a couple gold medals. Oh. Um, so just having those aches and pains and, you know, you deal with a knee problem or a back problem this day and then two days later it's your shoulder. I mean, it oh, was, I, bet. I, I felt like I was 90 years old. <laughs> so, um, just always, wait and then you can compare it, right? <laughs> Uh, and then I, I transitioned into bodybuilding. I won my pro card uh, in, in bodybuilding. I was there for six years. So paying, it, paying attention to the diet, the lifestyle, um, you know, I honestly, I hate the word diet. It really is lifestyle. So for me, lifestyle of wellness is about everything, right? It's about what you eat. It's about what you drink. It's about what you do to recover. Um, it's uh, it's just super important. I think uh, most people are missing the boat. They think about the activity when really it's about the recovery, right? Mm -hmm. um, and, and the recovery doesn't have to be intense. The activity doesn't have to be intense. The normal day-to-day, -day, you know, getting to work, going back to work, going grocery shopping. Um, I was talking to, I'll never forget this conversation because I remember it was like a mind-blowing conversation with this person. Um, years ago, I was having a conversation with this mom. She had three kids under the age of five years old. Oh, my and, God. Um, uh, she had one that was above. She so had four, uh, three below five. One of them was like 12 or something. And um, she said, I don't work out. You know, I really don't need cryo, blah, 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 this, that, and the other. And I said, um, how, how much do those kids weigh? And she said, what? And I said, how much do your kids weigh? She said, I don't know, maybe 20, 30, 40 pounds, whatever. You know, they're all two, three, four years old. I said, how many times a day do you pick up your kid and put them down? And she said, well, like a lot. I said, well, you're deadlifting. Oh. You're deadlifting a lot. You are working. <laughs> Hello. It's, it's, it's funny, you know, even the normal person, they do exercise daily. You don't have to go to the gym to do that, right? So yeah, yeah um, you walk walk physical, around the super the, the store. Yes, yes. Right. Physical and mental exhaustion is just built in our day. So mm -hmm. I always stress upon people. You have to focus on the recovery to be a better you so you can be the best version of yourself for other people. I, I totally agree. I totally agree. Yeah, that, that applies to so much. Absolutely so much. I mean, that's, that's part of I actually do coaching as well. And that that's totally where I come from. You know. And and you have to put yourself first. Yes, my oh, without a doubt. Right? And I get in this d debate with people all the time. They and I, I tell people, I said, look, you have to put yourself before others. And they say, what do you mean? That's so selfish. I said, you understand. Are, are you trying to give people the best of you, or are you trying to give people what's left of you? Right. And I say that statement all the time, and they say, wait, hold on. But say that one more time. And so I repeat it. I say, are you trying to give people the best of you, or are you trying to give them what's left of you? And because if you're thinking about others first, which people think they should, yeah. then you're just exhausting yourself and you're giving them nothing, right? You're giving them 10% yeah. of your ability. But if you focus on you, um, if you focus on making sure that mentally and physically you are well-rounded, you're giving people the best of you every day, right? So that's right. Definitely. That's right. I, yeah, I'm, I, I'm right there with you totally. <laughs> Having yeah. been through the other side of it. <laughs> so, I learned so my lesson. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's interesting how all, most of our members now, uh, our services play a big factor in how things are going on in, at home or with other people or at work. It, it's wow. it's funny. I've I've had a few husband and wives come in over the years, and um, they're like, you know, I've I've told so and so that when they don't cryo, 
um, you know, regularly or when they don't do red light or sauna or whatever it may be that they come home all stressed out and they're really pissing me off, Cal. You know, so it's, <laughs> it's funny. We have we have families and, and, uh, and spouses and stuff that they actually encourage their significant others or family members to come in and uh-huh. utilize our services just to help with that anxiety or help with stress or help with depression or sleep or whatever it may be. It's, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, and yeah, I'll yeah. talk about that here in a second, but our services yeah. are everything around physical and mental. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. Do, do they help with old age? <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, most of, most of our services have anti-aging benefits. Um, oh, okay. I think that's one thing. We, we separate our business in four main categories. Mm. Uh, general wellness, right? So just okay. general health and wellness. Uh, we have sports performance and recovery for all your athletes out there, right? Uh, we do anti, anti-aging and beauty. So mm-hmm. the beauty industry is huge, but the anti-aging industry in specific is massive, right? Mm-hmm. People are always, I, I've never gone up to somebody and said, hey, do you want to look and feel younger? And they say, no, what do you mean, right? <laughs> uh, yes, everybody wants to look and feel younger. They want to look and feel their best um, at any age, right? People yeah. that are 30 want to feel 20 people that are 50 want to feel 30 i mean it's just at the end of the day you're always looking to improve uh your quality of life right and naturally naturally people uh correlate that to how they look and how they feel yeah oh no absolutely absolutely you know and i can so totally identify with that because it's just i mean you know i i don't since my gym closed because of covid Right. I haven't been able to do that. So we have some weights and stuff here at home. We do that. We walk every day. You know, both of us have always been, my husband was an athlete as well, all through school. Um, and, you know, but it's still, you still feel, oh, oh God, you know, it used to be so much easier to do this or do that or whatever. So does cryo help with that, that sort of thing? You know, just that overall um, that you just can't do things at the same level that you used to. So, yeah, I think as you get, as you get older, you know, you hit an age and everybody's different, right? Um, they're actually showing signs of decline in your twenties now, right? So, and it's all about how you're carrying your life, right? If you're, Mm. if you're eating terrible, if you're not getting enough sleep, if you're exhausting yourself in Mm -hmm. your late teens and early twenties, Mm-hmm. Um, there are a lot of uh, a lot of blood work studies that are coming out now that even men and women in their mid to late twenties are seeing a decline in health. So it's no longer happening in your forties or fifties. It's happening way early on. So for me, yeah. I've, I've, okay. I've, I've I've always correlated our services to we call them lifestyle services um, because we want it to be ingrained in the person that our service is done on a on a on a lifestyle based mentality, right? Done on a regular basis will improve your quality of life um, and, and hopefully extend the good okay. years of your life, right? Okay. Um, it, it's one thing if, if I have uh, one person that lives to 100 years old, but 50 years of their life, they're just in pain and agony. Right. That's not really living, right? No. But I'd rather live till I'm, you know, 80, 85 years old and live 70 years of quality of life. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, so yeah. for me, it's, it's always about not not how long does somebody live, but how much of quality life years are they actually living? Mm -hmm. Um, And for me, I can't make any medical claims, right? But um, our services from a mental, a physical skin rejuvenation, Mm. uh, stress, depression, anxiety type type benefits, um, pain management, we live in pain just naturally, right? Um, I I was standing up the other day and my hips kind of locked up on me because I I had made a four hour drive back from Dallas and I'm 32. That'll do it. Right? Yeah, so it, <laughs> it's um, even at 32 years old, I still have my aches and pains. Oh yeah, um, yeah. No, no, that, that, and that's the body telling us. I mean, that, that's something natural. If you don't have the pain when you need it, you're in deeper trouble than, you know, if you're getting a lot of pain. That's right, that's right, yeah. So um, for me, we operate under a membership-based model. Um, we do sell single services. So I know a lot of people ask me all the time, hey, can I purchase these in packages? And I okay. say, look, you can purchase a la carte, you can purchase packages. I would say 80% or more of the people we deal with purchase some type of a membership. Uh-huh. Um, that way they can come more frequently and it's not as expensive, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 that makes sense. So tell me a little bit about what it actually is. You know yeah, what I mean? So, and, and what's the process if you come, if you do come in for um, 
a, a I don't know what you call them treatments or or what you know yeah. just to give everybody and, and myself a better kind of feel for what is it that's happening why does it help you know so we've got a list of services. I'll start by saying, okay. if you go to iCryo.com, uh, okay. you can see all of our services. That's icryo.com. I'll, but put, I'll, it in, I'll put it in the show notes as well. Perfect. I'll centrally focus on whole body cryo because that's kind of like the center of attention in our business. Yeah. Um, so cryotherapy originated back in 1978. Its original intent, a Japanese scientist was trying to treat rheumatoid arthritis and fibromyalgia, uh -huh. um, specifically targeting inflammation. So when your body reaches a certain temperature level, um, it goes into that fight or flight response, right? Mm -hmm. It goes into that initiation process where your body is, for a lack of a better term, it's in survival mode, right? It rushes all the blood from the extremities to the core, uh, revitalizes that system, right? Um, cryo is very fast, so it's a very quick treatment. Uh, a normal cryo se session is about three minutes long, so it's very quick. Mm -hmm. Um, when we talk about the convenient world that we live in, hello, Amazon, right? Um, people want things that are fast and effective, right? And I don't know of any therapy on the planet, and I encourage people to, to, to challenge me on this every day of the week. I don't know of any wellness service on the planet that you can do in three minutes and get the array of benefits that you get from cryo. That, that's like going through a Starbucks drive through three minutes, right? It's, it's, it's extremely fast. I, I wouldn't know, never been through one. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so for me, cryo is a great way to get something convenient. It's a great way to do something natural. It's a great way uh, to enhance the quality of life. And when I say that the number one benefit is reducing inflammation in the body, sometimes people don't really understand the gravity of what that means. Um, inflammation is everything. Inflammation is not just a physical muscle recovery. Um, inflammation deals with sleeping habits. Inflammation correlates to headaches and migraines. Inflammation correlates to skin issues like psoriasis, eczema, rashes. Um, so, so when you think about inflammation, um, there's an old saying that inflammation is the root of all evil, right? And um, for, for me, you can never cure it. So we can never claim to cure inflammation. It's always going to be there. But if we can help control those inflammation markers, you live a better quality of life naturally, right? Mm -hmm. um, so for me, I always get the question after that, well, how often can I do it, right? How often can I do cryotherapy? And I personally do cryo every single day. Um, most of the people that, that come into our locations, they'll cryo four or five times a week. Wow. Um, it's pretty average. So it's something you can do that's convenient and it's fast, right? It's three minutes, so it's super quick. Mm -hmm. It's something you can do that's cost effective. We offer a membership platform that you can purchase right. and come whenever you'd like. Uh -huh. So it's affordable. Um, but for me, I think the, the most important things that people need to understand is that it's real and it's scientifically backed. Mm -hmm. um, it's not something that's a fad or we're trying to figure this out for the first time. Mm -hmm. um, Cryo hit the States in 2009. Uh, so most people think it's only that old. But realistically, they've been doing cryo overseas since the 70s. Um, this is a tried and true treatment, um, and it's been around for decades. Wow. Wow. Interesting. So is it is it a is it like an x-ray machine kind of thing or is so it actually I mean, what is that's, it? A, that's another thing I, you know, I what, what do you actually on, do? Yeah, well, I'm just, people, you know, what, what would a visit comprise? Right. I yeah. mean, the, the three minutes, where do you go? Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're, we're taking you in a spaceship. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. So, uh, so we actually supply everything you need at the center. Um, you don't have to bring anything. You can come in mm -hmm. your work clothes. You can come in your workout clothes. Mm -hmm. You can come in your uh, bathing suits for all I care. It doesn't matter. We, we supply everything. So we actually give you gloves to cover up the hands because they're the uh, least meatier part of the body, a little more sensitive. Oh, especially as you get older. Yeah. Okay. Um, we give you socks and slippers to cover up, once again, your feet, the, the least meteor parts of your body. Um, and we also give girls uh, sports bras, and then we give uh, men and women shorts that they can wear inside, so some type of undergarments. Once again, covering the more sensitive areas of the body. Um, we do give you a face mask. Um, it, it's not like the face masks that people are using for COVID-related issues. It's actually a cloth face mask. Um, it's there just to protect your esophagus and trachea from the cold temperatures if you were to breathe mm -hmm. those in. Um, okay. Just basically a protective method, right? Uh -huh. um, and then it also covers your ears, once oh, again, uh, yep. a, a less media part of the body. Um, now, speaking of the experience, so 
we we have dressing rooms and changing rooms that we let all of our guests that they can use while they're there. They can change out of their current clothes, change into the clothes and attire that we give them. Um, when uh, when they actually get to, to, to choose their session, I say that um, because the experience to me, it's it's about everything, right? It's about the ambiance. It's about the smells, the 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 audio. And um, for me, right. we attack everything. We have um, a sound system built into the cryo chamber itself. So okay. I always tell people jokingly, the hardest decision you're going to make is picking the song that you want to listen to. Um, we have people they can select their own music choices. Um, these chambers are now built where several people can go in at one time. Um, so we have a lot of friends that they'll jump into the chamber together. It's almost like a miniature wow. cryo, uh, cryo room, if you will. Okay, right? okay. Um, so it, it really becomes something that's not just therapeutic, but something that's kind of fun, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, after the three-minute session is done, you hop out. Um, we only affect the skin temperature. We don't actually affect the body's core temperature. So you warm up extremely fast. By the time you walk out of the building, you're already at your normal body uh, skin temperature and you're on your day. Okay, okay. So, so what, what you're doing then is, is he, some sort of a heating of the body or is it, is that well, what the no, cryo right. actually it, does? Cause you haven't, yeah, you haven't so, actually uh, ex explained, you've explained great around, you know, what the effects are, yep. right? And the positive so, part of it, but, but what, I mean, and, and I don't need all you know down to the well. It's this chemical and da 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 da, right? I guess that not not into that, but um, but you know, just kind of what what is it? I mean, it's not like going to an X-ray machine, right? So then, cryo uh, cryo means cold. So okay. essentially, we're doing cold therapy. Um, okay. We're looking at temperatures of around negative one fifty Fahrenheit. Whoa. Um, most of the, yeah, I get that reaction all the time. Yeah, bad. <laughs> um, so most people either give me the response, uh, how can you possibly do that? Uh, how is that humanly possible? Um, and why is it going to help me, right? <laughs> most people correlate cold to ice. And uh, yes, if you were in icy temperatures, you would probably not survive, right? right. Um, but what we're doing is we're super cooling the air around you, so the ambient air. Um, so you're able to tolerate it because we're not penetrating the skin. We're only affecting the surface of the skin, right? So okay. it's actually, I always tell people it's cold, but it's comfortable. Um, right, right. Like I said, like, we've got, I've got, I've got kids that do this treatment on a regular basis. So, uh -huh. and for me, I'm from Houston, Texas. I love the heat. I uh -huh. hate the cold. Um, and for me to do cryo every day, that says a lot, uh, cause I'm not a cold fanatic by any means. Um, I actually think there was a study done that there's like, 4% of the world population actually enjoys the cold. So when somebody says, oh, Kyle, I hate the cold, I said, well, we all do. So um, we're, we're not doing it. Uh, yeah. You don't run the treadmill because you love running the treadmill. You do it for the benefits of cardiovascular endurance, right? Well, and, and how you feel when you get through. Exactly. Right, because you do, you feel that power kind of, right? When you yep. get off the treadmill, not while you're on it, but, but afterwards. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So, um, okay. So tell me, so tell me, so it just, it just affects the, the skin is what you're saying. Yeah. So, and you that, so the, is there like, is there like a sound that goes on for three minutes or other than the, other than the music, right? Is there, I mean, is it a machine? Are you in a, a clothes? Yeah, you actually, you walk into an actual chamber. So as I, as okay. I was explaining earlier, um, it's almost like a, a little cryo room. Mm -hmm. um, and what I usually recommend, it, it's, uh, it's hard to verbally tell it. I usually tell people, if you go on our website, we've got a lot of pictures, a lot of videos. You can YouTube us. Um, I cry. It was all over Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's really something that you yeah. have to come in and experience for yourself. Um, yeah. yeah, just think of it as like a walk-in chamber. Uh, you walk in and it's head to toe. It's something, it, like I said, it's like a small room. Like a small um, room. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm just, I get a little claustrophobic personally. Oh, it's, it's not small. that small. <laughs> okay. It's not that small. <laughs> good, good. That, that's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's interesting. And I'm assuming that you have a, a wide range of ages of people who are coming in. All over the place. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like I said, back I was explaining earlier, uh -huh. we've got right. teenagers, we've got senior yeah. citizens, middle age. Um, we, we can treat anybody really from an age perspective. 
Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Okay. And you were saying that, that you, you personally do it every day or, or, uh, okay. It's a part and, of my daily routine. Yeah. And then what is the normal of how often people usually come in? Yeah. Or so as I one? was explaining earlier, yeah. um, we usually have about our guests come in about four times a week. It's pretty average. Okay. 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 That's why you were saying the membership works yeah. really well Most for definitely. people. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I don't know. I'm just, boy, you just, we just zipped right through all that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I, well, personally, I don't really have a lot of, a lot of other, a lot of other questions. Um, maybe if you just have a, a couple of, you know, stories or whatever of, of people, older people, you know, I mean, like 50 plus year old yeah. people and the things that they've, that they've come to you for and, um, and what has, what they have said that they've been helped with. Right. I, mean, I, I realize you can't make any claims or anything, so I'm not, I'm not asking for that, but, you know, just <clears throat> Of different kinds of people who you who you have seen, um, and out of curiosity, do you, do you have many doctors out of curiosity? Yeah, that that you know refer people. Yeah, so we actually have a long list of physicians on our medical advisory board. Uh, right. Yeah, I saw that. that on the medical uh -huh. side for sure. Yeah. But uh, as far as physicians uh, prescribing, this isn't accepted by. Uh, the well, no, not a person yet, but, percent, uh, but we yeah. do have a lot of physicians that refer. We have a lot of chiropractors, a lot of surgeons. That makes and sense. Physical therapists. Yeah, we do have a lot of referral-based business. Yeah, yeah, I could, I could see particularly um, surgeons because it, it sounds like it's something that would really help people heal a lot faster than normally with Most a particular. Definitely. Yeah. Most definitely. yeah, yeah, no, for sure. That sounds really interesting. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know. Do you have any other pieces? Like I said, we kind of zipped through the whole thing. So I don't, I don't have any more questions myself. Um, and I'm, I'm assuming on your website, I did go and look at your website before, but um, do you have pictures of on there of, of kind of like what it looks like with a, a room? Kind of yeah, so we, like have, uh, we have we have pictures, we have pictures and videos on the website. We also okay. are active on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, so you can get okay. a lot of video collateral on there as well. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah, it sounds it sounds really interesting. So, and and you're, you, it sounds like you're expanding out into into California, or you are yep. already. Or Probably. yeah, we're uh, starting to build. We're going to build a half dozen locations in California uh, this next year. Oh, okay. Okay. Mostly Southern California? Or... Yeah, mostly Southern California. Well, it leaves me out for right now. I have to wait till you get up to the Northern half. <laughs> get there. Get there. So, well, thank you very much. This has really been um, enlightening. You know, um, I, I have been, as you say, been hearing about it for a long time and never really knew um, what it was and and how helpful it could be and you're right inflammation is is at the key to almost everything in life mm -hmm. so um that's that's huge okay well thank you so much for coming on kyle and um as i say i will put the um the link to your company site in the show notes sounds um, great is there is should people if people are interested they should just contact you through the website is that the best yeah, way website's usually good like i said we're very active on social media so right. uh, any of the social media handles instagram facebook um definitely active a lot of people go through the website to gain information uh whether it's business or um you know a franchise opportunity based yeah. question or whether it's services based okay 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 no that makes sense that makes sense and and on instagram it's icryo as well or uh yeah instagram is icryo okay 
Okay. Very good. Well, thank you. And thank you for taking the time to be on. Thank I you. I do appreciate it.